everyone. Hello, 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 hello. Sorry, I'm a little late today and blessings to you guys all. Listen, I'm glad to be here today. I want to send you guys nothing but love. And today we're going to talk about something that is going to help a whole lot of you with your manifestation, with manifesting whatever it is that you desire. And it is something that a lot of people overlook, that a lot of people are just looking for so many different ways of manifesting whatever it is they want in life. And they are missing this simple technique that can actually open the doors to a whole lot of things that you're trying to get. In fact, those things that are even more difficult to achieve, this is the technique I would recommend to you. But before we get started, you guys, if you're new to this live stream, this is Sunday morning live stream where we go over spiritual topics for those people willing to change their lives or change the way they're doing things to manifest whatever it is they want in their life. So on Sundays, we're talking about scripting, affirmations, mirror work, anything that has to do with manifestation whether it's candles, crystals, whatever, everything is right here. Now, you're probably wondering why you cannot put a comment in the chat. And that is because you are not a subscriber. Because we got so many people here, I need to really focus on those people that are supporting this channel, okay? You're probably also wondering why do certain names are in green? The names in greens are people that are members of this channel. So guess what? I look at their comments first. Even when we're not on a live stream, their comments come to me first, okay? And I actually address all of their comments. So again, the people in green are members. If you want to become a member, please, right below in the description, in the chat, is a link. You can click on it, become a member of my world of metaphysics, and listen, I'm here for your spiritual growth. Now, today we're going to talk about letting go, everyone. And this is a powerful technique, you guys. And if you guys are saying, well, now we met. No, I, I want to know about bay leaves. I want to know about candles. I want to know about affirmations and scripting. Listen, it all boils down to putting things together and using it in your toolkit to manifest whatever it is that you want. So one of the biggest things that you guys should know and master, and that is letting go. Okay, and we're going to talk about this. And this is what the topic is about today. So let me just say hi to a couple of people behind over here in the chat that are members and also those people that are subscribers. It's just that I have to reach out to these people that are actually members. Um, Carlton Atkins, I knew you were like the first one here, you and Kim Clay. I also have Angie Hunt, Quibanas Antone, Chastity is here, Clinton Hall, Vanessa Jackson is here, Denise Stewart, Vanessa Jackson Cannon. Um, who else do we have here? We have Dioki um, Sad. We got Philip Tibbs. We got Nora P. Wade. We got Pamela Heath here. Hello, Pamela. We got Erica Bradley. Ernest Muhammad is here. Alexis A. We got so many people. Hudson O. Robinson is here. Hello, Hudson. I love it. I love it. We got Kay Lewis here. We got Jackie Mumford here. Listen, we got so many people here. Welcome to Live Sunday. Welcome. And again, thank you for being subscribers, members. Just supporting this channel is keeping me here. Okay, so now why this right here that I want to talk about today? Why the art of letting go, the technique of letting go? And I'm going to explain to you guys exactly what you need to be doing to do this technique. And I'm going to tell you guys right now, some of you will start manifesting things in your life that was very difficult to get before. Things that just did not work out. When you start practicing this actual technique, 
things will start opening up for you. And you will write me and say, Yvette, listen, this actually worked for me and I didn't have to do nothing, but follow the instructions you gave on that live stream. And I would say, whoa, whoa, you were listening. Some of you will feel release, will feel like you could able to go to sleep at night to rest a little bit more, okay? All of these things happen with this technique. Some of you may get job promotions. Some of you might get money owed to you. Some of you might get that love of your life that came back to you, or you moved on to another love of your life. And again, we're going to go through this. I do ask for you guys to please support this channel by liking, subscribing, tapping the bell, because this is what keeps me here, okay? So don't forget to give me those likes, you guys. And I'm a, okay, and we're going to talk about this right now. Um, again, you are not able to leave any comments unless you are a subscriber. You only have to wait a minute or two, and then you can actually come into the chat, Okay. And if you're new to my world of metaphysics, this is a manifesting channel, a law of attraction channel, and basically a metaphysical channel. And again, we go over so many different types of techniques. Everything is right here in one spot. Now, I get a lot of people that write me and they're like, oh, Yvette, oh, my boyfriend left me. Um, I'm alone. Oh, my God. My money situation is really bad. Oh, Yvette. I got to move and I get these comments every single day, everyone. And when I'm reading these things, I'm like, wow, wow, wow. What are you doing? What are you actually doing to yourself? What are you doing? And people don't get whatever it is you're seeing in your life at this moment. You basically started and created it from inside. You actually built it up inside and it actually manifested out in your physical. Nothing in this world that you are seeing that affects your life started from the outside. Everything started from the inside. And you guys have to understand this. No one is going to give you something. God works through you, but you have free will to manifest what it is you want in your life. And it all starts from your feelings, your emotions, and your level of consciousness, okay? If you're understanding what I'm saying, give me that thumbs up. So there's people, for example, that are in love with someone and they are holding on to that love that they have for that particular person. This person could have moved on in life, okay? but you're still holding on. You still have a chain attaching you to this particular person, okay? And now, what are you doing? You are basically telling the universe that I love this person, but I am not getting this person and it is causing negativity in my life, okay? We can talk about shame, guilt, apathy, fear, Um, a desire, anger, pride. These are all lower level energies, lower level emotions. And when you say, I love someone and you are attaching negativity to that someone, whether even I just love him, but how are you feeling right now? You're feeling worried, angry, disappointed, that you do not have this love in your life. So what are you telling the universe? Not, I love him. Remember, you guys, it's all based on how you feel, what you believe. You're saying, I love him, but you are feeling disgusted, worried, fearful, because you do not have this person. So now, what are you doing? You are actually attaching something negative to this person, and this is what you are going to get in life, okay? So now, let's do a flip on this, okay? Now, you understand that I just told you this, and now you're like, you know what, Yvette? I'm going to let that go. You know what? You can go and do whatever it is you want to do. I love myself. I know God has more for me. God, you said that if I let this go, you want to bring something else into my life. And you go at life like that. All of a sudden, 
doors start opening up for you and then new loves come into your life. And guess what? So does that person that you love so much. Why? Because you have released that negative emotion, that negative feeling that you had attached to that person. And now that person is drawing back into you like a magnet. It is just that simple. Have you guys ever heard of people that want somebody so bad and as soon as they say, you know what, screw you, and they move on, then this person comes running behind them. Have you ever seen people that want somebody so bad and the people just don't want them? Why? Because that energy is there. It's like, ugh. And, and they, they move away from that person. Okay? It is the same thing. As soon as you start acting like you're not interested, that you, please, just go somewhere. That person hunts you down. Okay? It is just that simple. It is not like you, like the universe just said, we're going to give them to you right now. No. You change something about you that is now attracting that person back into your life. You have changed something that you are bringing it, attracting it into your life. Now, let me give you another example of those people wanting that promotion or wanting that job, okay? You want a job. You're, oh, Yvette, I need a job. I can't pay my bills. Oh, I don't know what I'm going to do. Oh, my God, help me, Yvette. Then all of a sudden, I say, listen, know that God works through you. God is your supplier. Nothing on the outside is going to give you anything. Everything comes from within. Pick yourself up. Increase your frequency, your emotions, and walk forward. All of a sudden, you call me and you say, oh, Yvette, I did the bay leaves. I believe I trust it. I did the scripting. I believed and I trust it. And guess what? I got five job offers. Okay. But what was really the secret behind this? It was because after you did the bay leaves, after you did the scripting, your emotions calmed down. You became basically full of acceptance, reason, love, joy, peace. You felt like something was going to happen. Something is going to happen. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. This is going to happen. And you lift yourself up and you let go and you release the worry, the doubt, the fear. And then all of a sudden, five jobs came through. Okay. Listen, you guys, listen, it is so simple how to manifest what it is that you want when you release and let go. And a lot of people are overlooking this. They're, listen, we got 11 and 11, 111 people here. The universe is talking again. And every time we're on this live stream, it is there. Okay? So now, listen, the universe supports you in all ways, but you have free will. You are looking at how you're manifesting what it is that you desire in the wrong way. You're looking at it as what I say, okay? What I focus on. Yeah, that's what you're looking at. But the real thing is, what is it you believe inside? How do you feel about this thing? Are you feeling like you need to hold on to it because it's not working? It's not going to be there. Or are you releasing it to the universe and letting it go? This is the difference between what comes to you fast, what comes to you slow, what comes to you difficult, and what comes to you easy. It is just that simple. Release and let go. Okay? If you understand what I'm saying, listen, give me that thumbs up, you guys, because again, we all have free will here with whatever it is we're seeing in our, in our lives, okay? It is totally up to you how it comes. And once you guys realize this, the things that you desire in your life will come easier. So now, let's go through a little technique that I want to share with you. And this actually works. And it's called basically letting go but it's a it's a it's a particular way of how you do it something is in your life that you desire something is in your life that happened okay you have one way to 
handle this. And it is called basically your reaction. Okay? Your reaction. Okay? And we're 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 going to we're going to we we're gonna go with this, okay? Your reaction. What is your reaction to whatever's going on in your life? Okay, Yvette, I am having the difficulties with my boyfriend. What is your reaction? Okay, okay. What is your reaction? Do are you getting angry? Are you getting upset? Are you ready to fight? What is your reaction? Okay. By looking at your reaction, you will know what direction you're going in in your life. Okay. Let's just say you need some money right away. Okay. It is normal to react. Now, I'm not telling you guys not to have any human emotions, but what I am telling you is okay, this happened. I reacted. Okay. So now, where am I going from here? What is my response? Okay. How long do it take for me to go from reacting? to making a decision or making a response. Okay, you stole my boyfriend. Okay, I'm so upset. Oh my God, I just want to do this. I can't forgive anybody. I'm going through this. I'm going through this. Okay, okay, we already processed this. Now, where are we going from here? You responded, okay? Now, how long is it going to take for you to let this go, to let this go? and then move on to your response, okay, reaction, okay? So the faster you make that adjustment in your life from going from that initial response to making a decision on what direction you're going to go in in your life is how long it's going to take for you to manifest something, how long it's going to take for you to um, get rid of the difficulties, all of these things are taking place. And at the same time, you are actually sending it out to the universe that this is what I want in my life. And we don't want to do this. Something happens, you have a reaction, okay? Then you need to respond, okay? You have some people out there that are holding on to things that happened 10, 20, 30 years ago. They are still in that reaction. They still in it. They decided to stay there. You need to let go. Hey, look, she didn't like me in school. Let it go. I'm bigger than that. <laughs> let it go. Hey, look, they did me wrong at the job. Okay, I'm gonna let that go because I know God has something better planned for me. Hey, look, I'm not talking to that person. You know what? Hello, whatever. You want to talk to me? You don't want to talk to me? Hello, whatever. But at this time, I need my sleep. I need my health and I'm moving on. If you understand what I'm saying, you guys, please give me that thumbs up and please just let me know in the chat that you understand what I'm talking about. It is all about letting go releasing the situation. If it's not positive in your life, let it go. I understand you guys are probably saying, well, Yvette, it's not easy to do that. It's not easy. What I'm telling you, you are human. Have your emotions, but at a certain point, cut it and say, where are these emotions taking me? Where is this taking me and my family and my children? What direction is this taking me in my future. And if you look at it that way and say, everything that I do, everything that I am thinking, everything that I am worrying about is creating my future, you then will say, huh, hell no, you got to go. You got to go. Whatever's going on, it all has to go. Okay. And when you do that, you will start seeing doors opening up for you. You will start seeing things starting to happen less that are negative in your life because you are putting out to the universe that this is not going to be my reaction, okay? Things can happen to you, but it is your reaction that dictates how it's going to stay in your life, how it's going to manifest in your life, and you have control over it. 
You can say, how did I attract this? Okay, this is not what I want to be my reality. Okay, I, I processed this. I'm a little upset, but now it's time for me to let this go. Now it's time for me to do something else. Now, a tip that I want to give to you guys, and that is whenever you find yourself in a situation where you're thinking about something over and over again, and you are allowing your emotions to take control of you, I need you then to find something right now to switch your thinking, to switch your thoughts over to something else. Okay. You guys love doing this type of work, okay? Something happened at your job, okay? Maybe you want to come home and then you have a little thing where you do meditation or you do something where you love going to the beach, to the boardwalk, to the boardwalk. Whatever it is you like to do, that's what I want you to focus yourself on. I love old school music. I love old school movies. When something happened, what can quickly change the way I'm thinking or focusing on is some old school movies, old school music. I've been watching The Temptations all weekend, okay? I love listening to The Manhattans. I love listening to Native New York about Odyssey. All of these things are things that I love to do. I love the um, um, with, um, with Atlantic Star, Midnight Star, um, Gladys Knight. These are things, Ambrosia. I love all of these old school things, okay? And that switches my thoughts, my thinking, my emotions quickly over to something that's positive, okay? Okay, if you guys understand what I'm telling you guys, I, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to reach you guys to understand. Thinking about something over and over and over again in a negative way, you are reacting to that thing in a negative way. And that is the law of attraction. You are associating not having money with money. You are associating a bad relationship with boyfriend, girlfriend relationships. You are associating a bad experience at your job with your job. So it doesn't matter if you move on to another job. You are associating negative experiences with your job. So that is holding on to a negative situation. And no matter where you go, you're bringing that package with you. It is just that simple. What you need to do is let it go. Karma will come back to them. Don't let that karma be your karma by taking that karma with you to the next job, to the next relationship, to the next business deal. That is your karma, okay? So listen, there's no good or bad, right or wrong here. The universe just knows this is what you want. It doesn't matter if it's positive or negative. The universe is saying this is what you want. You want to hold on to negativity. You want to hold on to worry, to fear, to anguish, whatever it is. This is what you are telling the universe. Not, Yvette, I'm going to be the next millionaire. I'm going to be the next millionaire. And then the next minute, holy crap, I don't have the money to pay my bills. Holy crap. What am I going to do? Holy crap. Holy crap. What is going to manifest? What's going to manifest is those emotions. And those emotions are like, holy crap, holy crap. And that is what you're holding on to. Release and let go and trust. If you have purchased one of my books, okay, you guys, my journals. In my journals, I designed these specifically for scripting and manifesting. And every time you write, at the bottom, it says, now I release, I let go, and I trust. I didn't put these words there for no reason. I put them there because it is the secret to you manifesting whatever it is you desire. Release, let go, 
and trust that the universe is your supplier and the universe has your back. Release and let go is one of the biggest secrets to manifestation. And that's why I'm always pushing mirror work, hopono, hopono, shadow work. All of these things is a way of releasing what is no longer for you. Again, when we're talking about release and let go techniques, we're talking about, hey, look, something happened, something that you don't want in your life something that you want in your life and it's just not coming to you. Okay, stop. Right then and there, there's a reaction. What was your reaction when you're not getting it, when you didn't get it or when it happened? Okay, that was your reaction. Now, how long do it take for you to actually process that and say, no, this is now my response? Okay, I reacted. Now, this is my response. I reacted. Now this is my response. How far does it take for you to get from point A to point B? How long? Okay. And some people are still at the reaction three, four, five, six years later. Oh, I can't believe he left me and my kids. I can't believe he left me and my kids. Okay. How long is it going to take for you to get to the response? Okay, there's a difference, you guys. And you guys really have to understand this. I'm at my job. They did me wrong, Yvette. They all came against me. Okay, well, what happened that you was on that level that you attracted all of this? Okay, okay, it happened. Okay, okay, it happened to me. (laughs) Okay, it happened to me. Okay, that your response was someone said something you didn't like. You responded. You came off. I have, a t- I have a tendency to come off strong, okay? So I came off strong. Okay, am I going to stay at that level for the next week, two weeks, three week, three weeks? Or am I going to say what I need to say, get it out, let it go, and move on? Tomorrow, come in and say hi to you, okay? Only you can decide how long it's going to take for you to go from the response, the reaction, to the response, excuse me, to the response. It's only you that can determine how long it takes for you to go to one spot to the next spot. For me, okay, it happened, it happened. I let it go, whatever. I'm gonna give you a hug the next day, okay? And thank you, God. Thank you, universe, for just keeping my life peaceful that I can go to sleep at night, okay? And this is what I'm trying to say. Release and let go. And it applies to anything you are going through right now, whether it's love, money, career, health. Let me tell you this. Health. And I'm learning this right now, you guys. <laughs> okay. So it's no, I'm, I'm not an option, a, 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 one of those people that things are just not happening to. Okay. Your health. When you start looking at your health, everything boils down to what are you not releasing? What are you not processing? What are you not letting go? High blood pressure, uh, stress, uh, me, oh. <laughs> My blood pressure basically done went completely down since then. I'm, to- I'm telling you, I'm like, okay. <laughs> okay, now I know, okay? Listen, what are you not allowing to be released? What are you holding on to? Health is a manifestation of you not letting go of something in your life, okay? Autoimmune diseases, high blood pressure, diabetes, thyroid, whatever it is you are seeing in your health, sit back and say, what am I not releasing? What am I? What have I been thinking for the last 20, 30 years that I manifested this? Louise Hayes, You Can Heal Your Life is a powerful book for you guys to get, for you guys to sit there and say, okay, I got rheumatoid arthritis. What does Louise Hayes Hay have to say about rheumatoid arthritis? Rheumatoid arthritis will be on there and it'll say something about holding on to something. Okay, feeling something. Hey, I got high blood pressure. On that, in that book, it'll tell you what the heck is going on in your life 
that you develop high blood pressure after so many years, okay? Okay, this is just something that I'm telling you guys. Release is the secret to a lot of things. And the whole thing is when you're going through something acutely, when things are just happening, you have a time to, re to react, okay? You have a time to react, and then you have a time to respond. How long do it take for you to get from point A to point B? And that's going to determine how things manifest in your life, how things happen in your life. And it is just that simple. If you're having problems letting things go, start finding ways of changing the way you're thinking by listening to music, by watching something funny on TV, by taking a walk, by calling your girlfriend up or your homeboy that basically is just someone that makes you laugh every time you get on the phone with them. Those are the people you want to speak with and let that other stuff go. Start, start spending less time with people that are bringing out that negative energy. Stop spending time. You might say, well, Yvette, I don't want to be alone. Well, I think I'd rather be alone than have negativity in my life. I'd rather be alone than basically getting in disagreements all the time. I'd rather be alone. Hey, look, you guys are hanging with each other at the job. You go do you. I'm good. I'll stay here and finish my work up. I have a peace of mind. While they come back from lunch and they're arguing, saying, oh, did you hear this happen? No, I didn't. I wasn't there. I don't want to know. Listen, you guys do you. <laughs> okay? If you understand what I'm saying, Give me that thumbs up, you guys, because again, this is about release and let go. Now, again, you have free will to create your life. Something happens in your life. You have the ability or the right to either handle it in a calm manner, to blow up, to fight. That is up to you. And again, we all have different personalities. And again, I am one of those people that would be like, what? Huh? Huh? Oh, no. And the next minute I could be talking to you. If you are one of those people that stay calm, you are way ahead of the game. Okay? Okay? That's, that's okay. But my main thing is, regardless who you are, the reaction let it be quick. Either you're calm or you get a little angry or you say what's on your mind, but you let it be quick and then you let it go. That boyfriend that left you, okay, you processed it. He didn't respect you from the beginning because he cheated on you. He let you go. Whatever happened, okay? He, you processed that. God had something better planned for me. Hey, I love him. I love him to death, but I love myself and my children even more. So you know what? I got to let this go. Every time I think of him, I'm going to hang out with my girlfriends. Every time I get in a negative mood, I'm going to play my old school movies or nothing to make you cry, but my old school movies, my old school music, take a walk or at the beach. I'm going to do whatever it is to enjoy myself. You know what? I'm really feeling down right now. Let me grab a girlfriend or two and we're going to Jamaica or we're going to Bahamas. Okay. And then I'm going to post it to make sure everybody know I am enjoying myself. OK, OK. And, and by you moving on, letting that go, believe me, he'll come back. She'll come back. It always happened. OK, it always happened. But you need to release and let go. OK. And this is the secret to manifesting things when they are difficult. So listen, you guys, I wanted to make sure that I covered everything. Um, okay. Um, them, okay. So again, whatever it is you're going through, you have the right to choose your feelings. You have a right to choose your reaction. Okay. But do not sit there and allow this to go on and on and on and on. You really need to release, let go and trust in God, trust in the universe, trust in our law. And that's all it is. If you want to know how to quickly understand what direction you're going in, the only thing you need to do is pay attention to your feelings. How do I feel right now? I'm talking about Jim. How do I feel right now when I think about Jim? How do I feel right now 
when I think about my current career? How do I feel right now when I think about my health, my family, my money situation? How do I feel? And based on how you feel, you will know the direction you are taking your life. Nothing happens by accident, you guys. You are the creator of whatever it is you are seeing. So again, you guys, I just want to say blessings to you all. Don't forget to give a thumbs up, a like. Again, you guys are not going to get this information anywhere else. Every Sunday, I am here live giving you metaphysical knowledge to help take your life to the next level. Okay, please give me that thumbs up. Give me that like. If you want to become a member like the people in the green, please sign up for membership. If you want to um, support this channel and it further, I do sell candles, crystals, everything you could think about about your spiritual um, on your spiritual journey is in the description. Go to the website. You can sign up for coaching. You can sign up for a card reading. Okay. A lot of people have been signing up for the card reading because it's the beginning of the year. Um, you can sign, you can go and purchase candles and crystals. Now, I will tell you guys this YouTube has allowed me to post products in every single one of my videos. As I am talking, you will see something that says store or shop or something like that. Those are the products I am putting on YouTube from um, most likely from Walmart or or um, Amazon that basically is giving you everything that I would suggest that you should have. Some of these things are not on my website, but I am able to give it to you to show you guys through YouTube. And I also have a storefront now on Amazon showing you all the items that I use personally in my home. That link is there too. So again, if you have it, please go buy your scripting journal. It works and 369 for me. My dream journal is coming out very soon. And again, you guys, if you have bought it, please go back to Amazon or, or Barnes and Nobles and write a review for me, please. <laughs> So again, you guys, blessings to you all. I'm going to get to some of the comments. Much love to you. Happy Sunday. And I will see you next Sunday. <laughs> okay. So now let's get to some of the comments here. And again, blessings to you all. And I only can, I'm going to start off with the members first, and then I'm going to go back to the people that, um, that are subscribers, okay? Carlton Atkins says, all love is perfect as a superpower. It opens all door, releases all hostages, and releases abundance. Love is the star power. I love it, I love it, I love it. It is so true, okay? Uh, we should open our time during love instead of spending our time on doing time. I love it. Kim Clay is here. She says, good morning, happy Sunday. We have people that say, Angie Hunt is saying good morning, Quivanas, a lot of people, Clinton Hall, Chastity, Vanessa Jackson Cannon, Grand Rising Queen, and everyone listening this beautiful Sunday morning, my last day working in Phoenix, moving back to San Diego. Hey, congratulations, Vanessa, this Friday coming. So I will appreciate prayers and good vibes. Listen, we send nothing but blessings to you, Vanessa, as you trans well, as you Move back to San Diego, okay? Blessings to you. Beautiful. Denise Stewart says, hello, Vanessa Jackson Cannon. I'm so thankful to find Yvette. I'm, I'm my 71 years. I've learned so much and wish it was around in my younger years watching this channel. So thank you. Vanessa, thank you for being here and blessings to you. 71 young. I love it. Philip Tibbs says, good morning and blessings to everyone. Dioki Soup of um, said, she said, good morning and grand rising, everybody. Shout out to Miss Yvette. You are the best. Love you to the moon and back. Listen, Dioki, I love you too. <laughs> I love it. Um, Philip Tibbs, he said, waiting patiently with love, gain knowledge and blessings live stream. I love it. I love it. Nora P. Wade is here. Um, Pamela Heath is here from Las, Las Vegas. We got Erica Bradley. We got Ernest Muhammad. He says, greeting um, family. Um, Alexis A, we got Erica Bradley, um, Jackie Mumford. She said, um, grand rising to everyone, blessings and more blessings to everyone here. I love it. Um, Hudson O. Robinson said, good morning, happy Sunday. Kay Lewis said, hey there. 
Um, Hudson Robin Hudson O. Robinson said, hello, Yvette. Yes, Donna Fool says, happy Sunday, everyone. Um, call to everybody's giving thumbs up. Pamela Heath is here. Everybody's um, Cecily is here. Um, Hilda Mato is here. Um, the, uh, someone Carlton says heavy negative add to the negatives already are archived in the subconscious. Understood. I love it. I love it, Carlton. <laughs> I love it. Okay. So let me see if there's some more comments. Rise and vibe said hello. Philip Tiff, faith, love, feeling, exciting, blessings. I love it. Um, Carlton Atkins says, we are Lord, authority, responsible for our lives. The joy of the Lord is my strength. I love it. You come up with some nice affirmations, Carlton. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. Dioki Super says, she says, understood perfectly. Let it go. Move on. Your health and happiness is what matters most. Absolutely. You broke it down very quickly. Okay. Um, Carlton said, wow, we are very powerful. Yes, we are very powerful, you guys. Angie Hunt says, yes, definitely. Um, love it. Um, Sharon 65 Cooper skin is here. She said, Louise Hayes didn't get the book name. Oh, it's um, Louise Hayes, Heal Your Life. I brought that book downstairs a couple of times. But if you're looking for a book that speaks on um, dis-ease, um, um, medical situations and how it's connected to your subconscious mind by programming over the years, um, that would be Heal Your Life by Louise Hay. Okay. Um, I think Florence Skobashin talks about it. Also, Catherine Ponder, um, Joseph Murphy, they all speak on this. But um, Louise Hayes has an actual book that focuses by disease, by each dis disease and speaks on how this could have been manifested in your life. Good question. Good question. Uh, Queenie says, I'm late, but Grand Rise. Queenie, you're never late. You're always here. <laughs> love it. I love it. This is right on time. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, Hudson, um, uh, Angie Hunt said, love it, Yvette. I love it. Hudson O. Robinson said, get it works. It does work. I love it. You're too funny. <laughs> and don't forget, you guys, to write a review for me. Please do. Pamela Heath said, love you, sweetie. You're the best. I love you back. And Pamela Heath also said, you can heal your life. Oh, she answered it. Okay. Blessings to you. So now let's go back quickly to some of the other questions. I just want to see if there's any here from other people. We got people saying, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Internet auntie. I love that. Internet auntie. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Um, Rich Rising family. Okay, people are saying, good morning. Morning, everyone. Um, good morning. Let's see if there's any comments here. Release, let go, and receive. Okay. I love it. I love it. Um, blessing Sunday. Thank you. This all makes sense. Absolutely. And people don't realize I can tell you about candles and crystals and sage and all of these things are tools that you are using to help you manifest in a particular way. But the real power comes from the God source that's inside of you, the power, the God that you are inside of you. God made you as an image of itself and God is a creator. The first words God said is, let there be light. And then there was light. Okay. So it is the word that you are speaking out forward is what is manifest and what is creating. And what I'm telling you is that God made you in its image and you are a creator, but you are looking at it the wrong way. Okay. It's what you feel, what you believe and what you have faith in that is going to manifest what you see in your life. And it is just that simple. Thank you for that. I like to bring that out to people because it's important. Love and light. Happy Sunday from New Jersey. Hello, New Jersey. Hello. <laughs> people are saying I completely understand. Yes, have you, your emotions, but don't stay there. That's exactly what I'm trying to say. Have your emotions, but don't stay there. Okay. Go into the bathroom and say, okay, God, okay, let me release this. Let me let this go because you know what? I do not want to stay where they are. I want to lift myself up to a better life, to happiness. I need to let this go, okay? How empowering 
Right on, sister. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> My reaction is a choice. The best choice is, like you said, to redirect my attention to the positive. And you are absolutely. And I love that word. My reaction is a choice. And it's exactly. And you are creating based on your vibrational scale. You are saying, I'm entertaining hate. I'm entertaining anger. I'm entertaining worry. Instead of saying, God, what God has for others, God has for me. And at this point, I'm going to stay happy. I'm going to stay enlightened. I'm going to stay full of love. And I'm going to keep that vibration around my aura. Okay? But I like that. My reaction is a choice. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, nice cam and understand. I love it. I love it. I love it. Somebody wrote gratitude. Um, um, thank you. People are writing. Um, it does happen. It really do happen. Okay. Have a great day, everyone. Blessings to everyone. Blessings right back to you. <laughs> Inner Stan. Can't, um, can't see them. Yvette, I'm not too sure what that is. Stay blessed, blessed, blissful, everyone. Much love. I agree, Vanessa. I really think that too. Um, congratulations to you, Vanessa. Congratulations, Vanessa. Uh, I request the most bene benevolent one um, outcome. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. This is right on time. Listen, blessings to you all. Have a great day. Enjoy your day. Find something that's going to make you laugh and smile. And the main thing, you guys, is to let things go. Let it go, okay? I am finding out the hard way that I really need to let things go. Enjoy life. Do whatever it is that makes me happy. And that's what I'm sharing with you. Namaste.